Hey guys, so last night got about a foot of snow here. Uh, doesn't look like it on the tarp, but we got about a foot of this wet heavy snow. So I'm gonna get the tractor started up and while it's warming up, I'm gonna head on top of the camper, start cleaning off the roof to uh, lighten up the load on that roof. I'm going to bring up the shovel just in case, but I don't ever use it because uh, you can damage the roof of these campers and especially with this metal blade here. So I usually only use the brush or I use my hands to remove the snow off the roof of the camper. I always usually take off the snow on the roof, but I'm doing it right away this time because how uh, wet and heavy it is on this roof. But normally, like I said, I always do it anyway, even if it's a small amount, uh, just because what happens is the heat from inside melts the snow on the surface of the roof. And then, so what happens is there's water, and then if it gets cold enough, it freezes underneath the snow. And then during the day, if it warms up, it'll melt again. So it goes through freeze-thaw cycles. And I just feel like it's not good for the sealant around the windows and vents up here. So uh, even if it's a smaller amount, I still usually always take the snow off the roof. Um, unless if I know that it's going to melt right away, then I'll just let it go. But I usually always take the snow off the roof of the camper. And if you're ever doing this yourself too, make sure you know where all your vents and windows are because uh, once they're covered up by snow, if you don't see them and if you kick one or step uh, through a window, you can have a very bad day. So you gotta be very careful. Uh, I usually, I know where all my windows and vents are, but still I usually crawl around and feel for them through the snow with my hands and uh, make sure I expose them. That way I don't have an accident all of a sudden step on something or kick something and crack or break anything. So be, be very careful if you ever do this yourself. You always gotta fit time in for the pup. Uh, he loves watching those birds go back and forth from the bird feeder, and he's always hoping that one day he's gonna catch one of the birds, but never has a chance and he can't get to the feeder anyhow. Uh, so right now I'm gonna head down. I gotta go get the, uh, the forks off this and grab the bucket down here, and then I'm gonna get the driveway cleared up. So this is actually the first year that we've been living on our land here in the camper. So first winter on our land, uh, now that we got all the utilities going, but 
Uh, this is actually the fourth winter uh, that we've been living in this camper. So uh, originally we thought we were going to be in the camper for a couple years uh, by the time we were living in a house, but uh, you know then life happens and COVID came around, so we're on year number four now. And probably by the time the house is built and we're living in it, we'll probably be close to five years in the camper. So uh, definitely some challenging times, learned a lot along the way, and I'm hopefully going to share some of that with you guys. So uh, if anybody's interested, I was thinking about doing some of the little tips that I've learned uh, to help throughout winter camper living. And uh, if any of you guys want to have me make those videos, just comment what you think below. and. Uh, I'm really thinking about making videos like that just to help out people, you know, that are in my situation and you know, make camper living a little bit easier for them in the winter. So let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments and uh, I'll see what I can do to get some more videos out for you guys. So after I'm done doing the driveway here, I'm going to probably touch up the snow wall around the base of the camper, uh, which helps keep the cold air from blowing through underneath the camper. Uh, and then hopefully after that, I'll have enough time to do a couple runs uh, down our back hill on the snowboard. I'm trying to make a trail going down the back hill this winter and hopefully get a jump built out there soon too. So a lot of people put skirting around their campers or they can use, uh, you can use rigid foam insulation, but uh, to save costs, I build a snow wall around the, the base of the camper here, which it helps the, uh, the cold wind and air from flowing underneath the camper to hopefully help uh, keep it warmer underneath there. So uh, just touching up the, uh, the snow wall here and uh, then I'm going to go down the hill on the snowboard. Alright guys, so that about wraps up for me tonight. Uh, this is typically what I do on a snow day, uh, just to make sure everything's good to go and keep everything in tip-top shape uh, with the snow removal and the camper. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, maybe learned a couple things, we'll see. Um, 
But uh, tomorrow I'm going to go work on burning uh, one of the burn piles that you guys may have seen in one of my last videos. Uh, so I'm going to try to film that and hopefully post that soon too. So uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.